I'm pretty excited that Taylor's going to join us for the rest of the trip. She is quite the rock star on the split board, and um, she's a guide. So she is along the trip to be our partner and as well as teach us our glacier rescue course. So we will be learning all of our glacier travel, crevasse rescue, and uh, a lot of rope management work with her. But I'm pretty excited. The guys are going to be leaving and uh, Taylor will be joining. So pretty excited to have her on the trip. I look at McLaughlin from Shasta like all summer long and you know, it's pretty close, but just far enough to where I have never made the time to go. Somewhere just north of like Medford, base of Mount McLaughlin. It's a, it's a day trip. I think it's just under 5K elevation gain, five miles. So. It's pretty steep towards the top though. I think it's like a sustained 45 degree. That should be fun. <laughs> but uh, <coughs> yeah, I never do that. There is a volcano over here. And apparently it's really sick to shred. Like really sick. Go shred the north side of McLaughlin, hopefully. I'm super excited. Yeah, Parker said he's taking us on a face melting line. <laughs> so my expectations are high. Hi. I like to Thanks. kill it, that's awesome. Actually, I'm gonna let those air out a little bit. They're stinky. We're going up, baby. So just We're going up there. there. Cute pigtails. It protects my ears from the sun. Parker is a fellow guide with Taylor, and he's kind of got the local knowledge on McLaughlin. He lives there, and he is the owner and operator of Down to Earth Construction, and he makes some pretty amazing tiny homes. So Just another day in the office. Walk. So we do actually make floor plans. We, we do them in 3D on SketchUp. Sure, the quickest thing from here is just right up the ridge. Yeah. Crushing it. It's so brutal. Oh no. It's good training. Go big or go home. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> when I'm climbing, and we're ascending and you have these volcanoes. I don't really listen to music because I like to hear nature and be hear communication with my partners, but I don't have much of a voice in my head that says it's hard, it's tired, I should stop. But I know that every step I take is one step closer to snowboarding down. Yeah. I'm so happy to be here with you. Yeah, super stoked here. This is awesome. It's so nice. Yes. I love you. That's a sweet system. Dude, I want one of those so bad. Wow. Danny's a really strong snowboarder. So on the north side of McLaughlin, he saw this little chute there that um, we, we took the drone and went around and scoped and we could see that it goes through. So Danny strapped in on the top and made his way through it while Taylor and Parker and I went around. Copy, dropping in 10. <laughs> All right.
Oh man, I don't even want to look at my board after some of those rock bounces. <laughs> don't like you your poles. You have no option but to cross the log of doom to get out of here. <laughs> you gotta put that on there. Dude. Yeah, earlier we could walk across yeah. those rocks, but now we can't. Not anymore. So, well, things are play. changing. Oh, what an awesome time it was up there. Oh, trench foot. Look at my toe. Look at my big toe. Oh, thank you. Yes, Heaven. It's delicious, huh? So good. to Thielsen. Thielsen was aesthetically cool, but pretty bleak as far as the snow conditions. But again, like I love rock climbing and that was a cool little scramble to the peak. Starting off slow today on number four. My partners are crushing way too hard. <laughs> I want a day off every day. And they're like, no, oh, let's just climb again tomorrow. Another however many, whatever. I don't stop looking because it doesn't help to look. <laughs> Four wheel drive. Amateur hour over here. Can't skin, can't wipe my butt correctly in the morning. Mount Thielsen also had a lack of snow, similar to everything we've experienced so far. So we had dropped our gear and then started the scramble up to the top. Hillside moves when you take a step. Find that exposure. Yeah. yeah. Well, should we go hop around and see? Yeah, I don't really know. Like that side's worth the risk. Step. Yeah. Yeah. It's an aggressive scramble. Yeah, buddy. Kinda gnarly, dude. It's pretty gnar. I saw you look over the edge, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gang. Phew! Thielsen, number four in the books. McLaughlin. That mirror is insane. Three sisters and Mount Bachelor. That's where we're going next. On the edge of your comfort level. Yeah, definitely right there. I mean, I wish I had a rope, I wish I had a harness, <laughs> wish I had rock climbing shoes, wish I had chalk for my hand, a little less poop in my body. Ooh. Ooh. I kinda wanna <laughs> my pants. <laughs> I find that going up is typically easier when it comes to like loose, rocky rock climbing than it does to go down. And without gear, you know, it's a little nerve wracking, but I just, in my head, I try and really focus on, is this fear or am I in danger? They often can blur together and it's hard to distinguish between the two. And I know that I've got four fingers all the way up. I've got really good protection with my feet being able to grab and my shoes being able to get good grip in my hands. So I know that I'm not really in danger. I have the skill sets. I'm a proficient rock climber. I'm just scared. So knowing that 
in separating fear and danger is how I can kind of power through moments like this because I know what I'm experiencing right now is primarily fear and the danger level is relatively low, so. Gary! Should have just carried a rope. <laughs> If that's not a sign of my fear, I don't know what is. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>